Yo, what is up everyone? Hope all's going well for you. Welcome back to Get Jack. Now I can sing off here in Fallout 76. Uh, I've been playing a ton over the beta times and I wanted to put together some of like the cooler stuff that I've seen. Um, some of the different weird creatures, uh, better weapons and things like that that I found. Also, I want to include a bunch of the new kind of building stuff that I've unlocked. I've been spending a lot of time defending the workshops and things like that. So I've been able to build up plans for some of the cooler stuff uh, that you can actually build, including like the barn walls and uh, actually the what is it the sheet metal walls as well so it should be pretty cool I've got a lot of stuff that I want to kind of put together and it's a bunch of random things too uh, so I wanted to give a little intro to kind of what, what will be going on so it'll be a lot of random like building and uh, creatures and stuff like that hopefully this will help you find a rocket launcher and also a couple other cool ones uh, like submachine gun and things like that so hope you enjoy and uh, let's get into it we're just completing the Grafton Steel Mill area, and I'm assuming the good loot is going to be at the top here, so making my way up top, we're going to see what we get uh, from up here. You also unlock the workbench here, obviously, so that is what I'm working on. Alright, in the big chest, we've got a submachine gun here, quick armor piercing... 10 millimeter submachine gun. This is the first time I've seen one of these. So that's pretty awesome. Gonna have to see if we can make some mods or something for that. Nothing. Nothing else here. But a good find. Top of the Grafton Steel Mill. That's where we're at here. Alright, I had to come back and depot some stuff. Unlock the workbench over there and got a few more plans. So we've got a nice couch. I didn't have that unlocked before. Let me find what else we got in here that's new. Alright, we got this little setup of dressers and like end tables and stuff. So, we've got that. Uh, you can't actually use these to store anything, so that stinks. Alright, got these very important posters up. Looking very nice in here. Okay, also, got this Nuka-Cola machine, obviously. Very important for any establishment. I put it outside, so... Oh, that looks a little bit off. I may have to, may have to fix that. All right, workshop at Grift and Steel Mill is under attack by some crazy angler things. I'm just kiting them around as best I can, but they have a ranged attack as well. They've already taken down all the turrets, so that's not an option. But one thing to note about these, they give a ton of adhesive. If you get this place, you're gonna get waves of these like crazy and they could drop a lot of it adhesive which you need to repair weapons and make certain mods and things like that so it's really important and you run out of it quick trust me so fighting these and killing the anglers will definitely benefit you in the long run and of course defending these workshops give you those plans for for building so it's kind of important to capture some of these and start defending them just to unlock the plans Alright, that should be that. When you're at this place, the super mutants just keep spawning back there. And walking to the workshop area, so you gotta be careful of those. And we got our adhesive, so... You get that from every single one of them. Builds up. I may have died one time, but... It was a dot 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 there, where it... Probably should have shown me what I got as a reward, because it, there's no other way of seeing it, but... It, probably gave me a plan uh, for our building so that's where you get the plans is in that end part I don't know it kind of sucks that it cuts it off and it doesn't just list the whole thing but it is what it is uh, you just have to look in your plan or your notes make sure you learn it in your notes because I kept getting them and wondering why they weren't showing up in my building and it's because I didn't learn them in the notes section so that's why one material short nice I would say the turrets are almost not they'd almost do nothing uh, at least these low level ones so you may just want to wait till you unlock the higher ones to use them I don't know they're pretty ineffective and you have to keep repairing them too all right so these plans were for wooden shack doors wooden rocking chairs and acoustic instruments acoustic instruments I guess you get the buff from playing instruments so it might be beneficial to build one in your base if you've got the budget for it. Alright, well that's different. The Grafton Monster. 
Well, it's a graft and steel mill. I'd assume this is a special monster. It doesn't have like a boss thing or anything. But it's massive. Not very smart though. Let's see what it gives us. Alright, well it finally <laughs> it finally almost made it to us. I could not navigate the swamp. So it does give you some stuff, some acid, oil, look like all right gear. So might be worth it to actually kill the thing. So if you capture these workshops, definitely plan on defending them for a while. You see how many bodies of these anglers are around? You can build up a lot of resources from these things, but yeah, they take a lot of damage. We've got a legendary super moon spawned over here. Almost every time they spawn, he spawns. That looks good. Instigating combat rifle. Double damage if. There's a Scorch Beast here, guys. Really? Yeah. Oh, above. Should I chase it? It's above the swamp over here if you want to come. It's level 50. Yikes. But it's flying away. Alright, got this nice ice machine. You gotta check this out. We gotta put this, I think, outside. I put it down earlier and decided to move it outside because this thing actually acts as a stash, which is really cool. You can put this out here. Other people can use it as a stash. And fits perfectly with this new Coca-Cola oh, machine. I don't, I don't, I wish I could tell you which one I got this from, but I'm pretty sure it was one of the defense events. I'm getting a lot of these from the defense events. Very few I actually find in the world, at least plan-wise. Alright, check this out. We got something other than wooden walls. We got this red, like, barn structure. Let's check out the window variation on this other side here. I just want to get all these set up as that. That looks way better. I know it still kind of looks like a like a barn, but I mean it looks more like a barn actually, but at least it doesn't look like a shack in the woods, right? All right, the barn variant of windows is actually really cool. I wish you could fix the windows themselves, but you know, you can't wish for everything. It looks way better, honestly. I really like that. Alright, so check it out. Before we do any more upgrading, got it all converted over to this nice barn material. Back here, I've got the generators all st set up. I just left it with the, the wooden shack. I'm planning on upgrading it to the, the higher material here soon, I hope. Although I do like this one, it's not it's not bad at all. I wish that generated like Nuka Cola. It should generate it over time. Or at least you should be able to put one in or something. Anyway, got my nice safety posters and stuff hung up. I feel like that's important. Really l lightens up the area, I think. Got some windows finally. You can't close these ones, so people can kind of always see in. Didn't do any up top for that reason. Need privacy, obviously. We've got the smog billowing in from the <laughs> electrical window here. But, you know, we're all going to dive something out here. I don't think we really need to worry about the cancerous fumes. But anyway, looks nice. That looks mean. Alright, that does not do much. This thing probably is going to do a lot of damage. do need the meat from this though. Oh my god. Hello. This is a special meat, I know that.
it's actually getting bloody. There we go. Alright, let's see if it gives us anything here. Alright. Special meat. Perfect. And it does give you some of the more important junk as well. So, the only reason I'm after that is I, I know I saw a quest that was asking specifically for that meat. Or one of the dailies, so... It was like a special thing you could do. Also, I found this little button here in this porta potty here. And I cannot figure out what it does. So we're gonna have to figure that out at some point. I, I got in the porta potty, shut it, activated it, hoping, you know, it'd be like a secret passage. Uh, it was not. <laughs> anyway, pretty cool. Uh, there's actually, you know, a bear at this campsite. I don't wanna come across a full grown one yet. Now, this is definitely somewhere you're gonna wanna visit. It's a mining camp just slightly inside of the Savage Lands, and you're gonna see why. I came across this, and you want to be a little bit careful when wandering into this area. Mole Miner Foreman. That is creepy. Not too hard. Okay! That almost killed me. Alright, yep, we're gonna back off. She drops the missile launcher. Awesome. A key on this one. Alright. Alright, there's the name of the mine, but this is a quick, easy place to pick up that missile launcher, I think. It's my first, like, steps into the... What was the, the name of this area? The Savage Lands, I think it was? Alright, defended some more of the settlements. We've got ourselves a table now. Also, I've, if there's someone nearby, I get to hear his dog barking. Because his volume's just on. I don't even know where this guy is. He's, he's somewhere nearby. Stop. Oh, look at it. Now he's getting yelled at. Anyway, I continue placing my stuff. Got this nice little shelving pack. Let's check out these. What size... Okay, so small ones. They need to add it so you can actually take things out of your inventory and place them on shelves and stuff. Like you could in Fallout 4. I haven't seen the option to be able to, like, pick something up and move it around. I could be wrong. Um, but it looks like most things drop into, like, the plastic bag. Or not, uh, the, sorry, the paper bag. And you can't actually just, like, put them on things. But I could be wrong. Anyway, I've got some shelves here. It'll be nice if we can put stuff on them. Um, otherwise, they're just kind of, you know, shack decorations. I'm going to remove these because they don't really work here. I just kind of wanted to see what they look like. All right, my, my trophy's been broken. You get this nice uh, <laughs> full tech trophy over here. I've also got my lion. Very important. So it puts good use to your copper if you've got that. So now I've got the sheet metal bottom there I left the top the same I figured it looked better that way two-tone um, but this is kind of like the sheet metal building uh, material if you want to get the steel to do that you definitely should do the graft and steel area and hold control over that for a bit you'll get plenty of steel um, otherwise you don't have a different roof for the steel material you don't have a different door or floors or anything so concretes where that's at and uh, I haven't really unlocked any other turrets or anything like that. So it seems to be kind of like upper tier stuff, the turrets. Um, I unlocked the steel actually from defending the nuclear plant uh, workshop down in the south, actually. So I'll probably show you a little piece of defending that area, but that's where I got the sheet metal stuff. So yeah, 
Nothing too crazy, which is good. It's a little bit more difficult to unlock everything, so it's cool. Like, when you see it at people's houses, you know that they've gone through a lot of progress and stuff to get to that point. So, it's going to be cool seeing some of the buildings and stuff that can come out of all this stuff. Evidently, your budget should increase with your level, but I think it's really small. I think you're going to have to gain a lot of levels to see any substantial increase in that. Alright, welcome to the Poseidon Energy Plant Yard. Much like the junkyard that we've gone to before and the steel mill. What are they all on? Oh my god, they're like mobbing something over there. Um, much like those buildings. Or workshops, sorry. You have to defend them and you get the plans from them. I got the, sh like the sheet metal walls and everything from this place. So I'm assuming the higher level places with the stronger waves of stuff will give you better plans. Uh, that being said, I I don't know. I've had an easier time defending this place than against the anglers at the steel mill. I also would recommend not putting up turrets and defenses. Like, not too big of ones unless you're being attacked by people because when you leave the game basically you lose your workshop like I think it picks up everything and puts it into like your workshop building uh, menu but I can't be sure about that I think it might be honestly a waste just to go around building at all of them unless you really need to defend it okay treasure maps we need to check out some of the treasure maps too but anyway we've t retaken Poseidon energy plant uh, which is much like the one where you're just defending against it so we got aluminum scrap, concrete, raw cloth, stim pack, and plan for dressers. So we got dressers out of this one. Alright, kind of further into the ash heap area, brim quarry. We're going to find some pretty decent weapons and stuff up here. Definitely a place to check out if you want a Gatling gun, of course. And one of them actually does come at you with a rocket launcher here as well. Or missile launcher, I'm sorry. And some missiles, so. Not a bad find right off the bat. Alright. We've got a Gatling gun. Definitely the best piece of equipment I found in here. Let's try it out. Oh yes. I like this. Does it should go faster? I feel like it should probably speed up. Faster? Okay, maybe, maybe the small Gatling gun doesn't power up too fast. Don't have anything like this, that rifle either. Alright, well I've cleared the area. I think that's what you get. Basically a rocket launcher and a Gatling gun here. Which are both good finds for sure. Alright, so I got a decent amount of weapons. The sad thing about the game is that you can carry almost nothing. You can't fit any better weapons in your stash or anything like that. And I feel like you really need to upgrade like all of your weight perks just to actually move around and be able to actually pick things up. Uh, but anyway, I hope this helped uh, show you some different areas, show you some different monsters and kind of uh, what to expect if you encounter them. Um, but anyway... That's where we're going to stop for today. If you like this video, definitely hit that thumbs up for me and or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Y'all have a great rest of your day and of course, we'll catch you next time.